to um, Dr David Nicholl, who stood against him. He was the, the, the Liberal Democrat parliamentary candidate for Bromsgrove at the last general election. David, good morning. Good morning, Elliot. Uh, what, what do you make of all of this, and possibly the prospect of, uh, of um, yeah, Sajid Javid as the next leader of the Conservative Party? Do you, do you think that's got legs? Well, uh, you've got to bear in mind, this is a man who's resigned from uh, Johnson's cabinet twice uh, over integrity, and I'm reminded of Oscar Wilde and the importance of being earnest to lose one's integrity once, maybe, regarding the misfortune to lose it twice looks like carelessness. OK, that's perhaps a misquote. But <laughs> that's a bit I of a stretch there, David, but I'll see what you did, yeah. Well, you know, I, 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 he'll have more time to spend with his share portfolio. You know, this is a man as health secretary. He never explained the £250,000 he held in a uh, health informatics company. Um, so I, I don't think they need, Bromsgrove needs any lessons uh, from him on integrity. Uh, and actually, as Mark Garnier, the only Conservative MP, he managed to speak to, he's described this as chaos. Uh, it is. Um, mind you, Johnson said he wanted to stay as Prime Minister until 2030, which I guess he'll be there until the 30th night. Do you think, I mean, this is, I mean, this could go lots of different ways, couldn't it? But I, I suspect the way it might go is he's just going to be ousted by his own backbench MPs, the, uh, the, the much-talked-about 1922 committee. Yes, and, and, but I think the challenge for us as a country is actually, we all knew this about Johnson in the general election. Uh, I mean, when he was Foreign Secretary, uh, the security services limited his access to some files because he was deemed security risk. Uh, and the irony is these resignations are happening on the, uh, because of the lies of the sexual indiscretions, not of Johnson, but of other people. I, I can't even talk about the indiscretions of Johnson, which are in this week's private eye. But I think we should call it BJ from now on. Yeah, I think uh, if, if, if you know what he's talking about, then you know what he's talking about. But um, does, does this... Uh, the, the, pro the problem is with this is it, there is real things going on. This, this is, this is the, 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 the issue, isn't it? Everything at the moment is distracting from what the really important stuff is, of course, which is the fact that people are skinned. I, I couldn't agree more. And the, the difficulty is, uh, you know, the, the decent people in the Conservative Party have left. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think it's a real challenge, um, you know, because we are in a real crisis like, like no other, basically. And the focus should be on that, which is why the Liberal Democrats have been arguing about, uh, you know, VAT cuts on fuel, um, you know, all, all these kind of things, basically, months and months ago, <laughs> which is yet to, to happen, basically. The thing is, though, and I, yeah, we, we talked about the fact you stood against him at the last general election in 2019. I mean, you, you were well beaten by, um, so, you know, sorry to say this, by, by Sajid Javid, and he got, Boris Johnson got a thumping 80-seat majority. So, you know, he, he clearly is popular, or was popular, with a, an enormous part of the country. Uh, absolutely, and, uh, but, you know, but I think that's where we need to learn, is are we prepared to put up with um, people who are liars, people who are corrupt, um, the, the you know the money squandered over PPE. Um, you know we we as a country need better politicians basically. Uh, and I, you know I, I you know I look back uh, even when you look in May, uh, Sajid Javid was you know telling off hospital trusts was threatening to shame and blame them uh, over uh, you know not dropping mask mandates and we've got COVID increasing. Um, we need competent people in government and I'm afraid we we don't. We have a bunch of clowns. Uh, David, thank you very much.